With Alabama's special election just over three weeks away, religious leaders rallied today against U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore. They took aim at Moore's moral character as he battles several allegations of sexual misconduct. Moore is trying to retain a crucial Republican seat in the U.S. Senate. Last night in Arizona, Republican Senator Jeff Flake was caught on an open mic saying if we become the party of Roy Moore and Donald Trump, we are toast. More now from Dean Reynolds in Birmingham. At the Tabernacle Baptist Church in Birmingham, evangelicals gathered to reject the idea that Roy Moore is their kind of Christian. Vote or die! Vote or die! To them, his alleged unwanted advances or assaults against women only add to his unfitness. Even before these allegations made national headlines, it was clear that Moore's policy agenda endangered the children of Alabama. The Reverend William Barber. Moore imagines the struggle for equality in America as a story of loss. Those on stage pointed to a phrase Moore used Tuesday night at a revival meeting in Jackson, Alabama. They started to cre create new rights in 1965. And today we've got a problem. The 1965 Voting Rights Act was designed to lift barriers erected by states and localities to block minority voters. I present to you the hero of the day, our uh, valiant leader, Judge Roy Moore. Throughout the week, a different element of the evangelical ministry has championed Moore and demonized his critics. I say to them, and I'll quote the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not bear false witness. And that, as Reverend Lawton Hicks said today, is the problem. Roy Moore is a dedicated servant of and is seriously infected with this false religious virus, this false Christian religious virus. Moore hasn't been seen in public since he fled from reporters on Thursday, but he has sent his wife and legal staff out to argue his case, which many in the Republican Party leadership find unconvincing. Rena? Dean, thank you very much.